Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. If I uh, sound a little weird compared to like the previous episodes, it's because I'm on the uh, better half. I go, suppose, the better side of a cold. Um, like it's slowly going. Uh, I was coughing like hell yesterday, but uh, coughing a lot less now. Throat still sounds a little like hoarse, I suppose, or whatever. <coughs> So yeah, I thought I'd uh, get this intro section over and done with as quickly as possible because I don't want to linger on here too long. And I am reading, um, I did read as well that the PC content is definitely on PS4 as of recording this. So, <coughs> alright, <coughs> sorry. Ah, god, yeah, expect coughs randomly uh, throughout this episode. And maybe the next one, depending on how I feel. So, I've got my least favourite mission coming up. Hunting. Uh, let's start it, I suppose. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea. Fifty days, and you unfortunately survived by we eating with the other crew members. I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted, salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go, hon. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can you kill, kill it. it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. All right. Let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't an old Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. <laughs> we'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Also, <clears throat> um, right behind me is my dog, like on my chair, so I'm literally sitting on the edge of my chair right now. So if you hear like weird noises, like me falling over, or uh, jumping out of my skin, it's because my dog's either pushed me off the chair, or somehow leapt off the chair without me moving. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Do I have to still keep holding X for this? They don't tell you that, like if you have to leave the button go. But the last time I went into sort of a cinematic mode, he just stopped dead. So yeah, I'm gonna keep my b finger held down. Also, um. I don't know if I mentioned this before, because it's been a, like I said, it's been a few days since I recorded the other episodes. I have replaced my controller. 
Um, so I've got like the new version of the PlayStation controller, which I didn't even know there was a new version out, which has, it has like the light bar at the front and on top of the touchpad, there's like this little strip of, um, well, clear plastic, I guess, where you can see the light bar. So I think that is going to come in very handy for like games like Resident Evil, where the light bar sort of changes. Um, depending on your health state. <coughs> and this, I think. Maybe. It's gone red. Um, so I don't know if, if that means anything for the game. Like, I'm sure my health's okay. But I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, I have to enter tracking mode and the lines. Hang on. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. No right. Don't leave it on your horse. Okay. Scare everything around. Why am I leaving everything on my horse all of a sudden? Uh. Like every two minutes, it's like, don't leave this on your horse, boy. It's like, well, <coughs> why am I not grabbing it straight away? All right. Yeah, like I said, like I've said countless times so far, I'm never hunting willingly. I think there's a mission or two I have to hunt, but I'm never doing it willingly. All right. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's blue now, but if I remember correctly, yeah, it goes white. It's not easier in the snow. If this was like a, a sort of like a contrasted line that goes like black or something against a white background and dark against a bright one or something like that, um, it would be easier. But now this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Hello. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure the hands okay? There you go. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. Okay, it could be because I've played this game so much now. I'm just used to the like bow. But I remember that being a lot more of a nightmare than uh, I was expecting. <coughs> then again, I am sitting closer to the TV than I usually am, thanks to my dog. So that could that could helped, I guess. Okay, let's go. I'm almost past this tutorial section. I might actually, yeah, I might be lucky enough to get it done in this episode, uh, which I hope really hope because I want to I want to get into the open world part which is by far the most interesting part because it takes up a good 98% of the game the open world area all right come on man let's head back oh watch it quick uh okay Alright, a bit of a catastrophe there, but sorted itself up. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Oh! What? 
Ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. What the hell was that? He he went over that ridge. Fine, I try it. Alright, that's the first time that's happened. Uh, Jesus, it's just not my day. I say that the actual mission went fine. I suppose Sod's law dictates something had to have gone wrong. Yeah, let's, because I'm not stupid enough to try and fight a bear. Stay well back. <coughs> He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Watch it! I am with you. Calm down, Charles. You bumped into me. But, you know... Arthur is just too kind a soul to say anything. Cut up here, off the trail. We ain't ever talked that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. Just... I know you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Uh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, too. 
Tell me a few other things, Jose. <laughs> I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. God, this scene goes on for so long. It's all just exposition and backstory. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. And I new horses. I do wonder what happens to Bill Williamson though, because in this he's quite a big guy, but in the original Red Dead, he is frail. He looks frail, like the 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 Mexican dictator, like beats the shit out of him and throws him out of the carriage. But in this, he is huge. And I don't think it's that much. Like I don't think a lot of time passes between this and. Red Dead, I think. You should really tether that horse off. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow prop. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. No. See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh, seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Wow, that's quite detailed. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these, sell these, pretty much any town, if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. <coughs> yeah. well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> a few days later. After a tough few days came a few days later. Been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. It's like a fistful of dollars, and for a few dollars more. Well, I thought you was reading a tough few days, stars. and a few no, days later. You're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Horse! I think it's time for the train. Want me to go? Of course I do, but. Look at it. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jack. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seeing me now. 
What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you, now you ride, ride ahead, ahead and set, set the charge, charge at the water, the water tower, tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Okay. Going for the uh, great train robbery of Leviticus Cornwall. Oop. Sorry, hit the mic there. What's going on? What? Oh, right. I'm hitting the wrong button. Come on. Let's go. All I heard was, come on, let's ride! And it looks like they're going the same speed as they were before. So that really spurred them on. Nice go in there, Dutch. Now it looks like a lot of time has passed, but... Like, the, the top part of that map isn't very big. Trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, 
Okay. You stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Okay, let's go check on Bill. Good old Bill Williamson. <coughs> now, I don't think they've added new clothes in with this update of all the PCs, big content. Which is a shame because I really want Bill Williamson, uh, Bill Williamson's like jacket, the leather jacket. It's weird as well because you can't get that in the end game either. But it's a nice jacket. My online character's got that jacket. I'm okay. sure? I had to pay like ninety gold to get it. Can I help a little? I just thank right. God that. Uh, Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Uh, I just I'm just happy that uh, Rockstar like will give away a ton of gold, like premium currency, at the start of Red Dead Online. So I, I ended up with like a couple of hundred gold bars. So I just bought <laughs> a <coughs> I just bought a leather jacket. Cause why not? I also went to go and see Star Wars last night, and it was actually pretty fun. Uh, <coughs> you could see it was like Christmas time as well, because there was about four or five different people just coughing like hell in uh, in the cinema. Like you'd hear the opening, dun 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 dun. It's like <coughs> you just hear that all around you. Partly coming from me, as well. But yeah, that's, you, that's how I can tell it's Christmas time. Just a symphony of coughs. Oh, no. no. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Oh, I put it on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck. Follow me. You all know what to do. Mount Lenai. Oh, shit. I've got you. Now stop the other. Help. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. You will leave me, man. Ah, he's gone for the silent kill. That's nice. No. I'll take him.
I don't know how I'm doing this without taking any like gunfire. This this train driver really does like his job. He's like no one's gonna drive my train except me. It's my train now. I am the train driver now. Oh, that man is most certainly dead. I feel kind of bad now. Where did these guys come from? Because I fought my way across the train. Like, a good a good deal. And these guys just randomly appear out of nowhere. Were they hiding under the train? Like Von Ryan's Express sort of style. Just hanging on to the undercarriage. What, like all 50 of them? Is this last, is the last carriage like a clown car? What's going on? I mean, I highly doubt they are all coming out of that last carriage. Oh, that was ridiculous. Okay. Fun though. Brought so many boys up here for this. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. Yeah, it's fun to finally get around to uh, wait for all the talking to finish. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. I give you my word, but trust me, we will. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Kablooey. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Why can't I move forward? There you go. Nice. I was thinking then, like, no, not another controller broke. Although this one is a bit weird now, I can't seem to go forward. Okay. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. 
Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. I'll take that. Okay. Let's see if we can. And the cigar. Search everything though. Hey, twenty five dollars. Just waiting on you, Arthur. Shut up, Dutch. There's fine brandy and cigars in here. I'm going to take my time. What did you buy? These. They worth anything? Oh, oh sure. sure. Bearer bonds. bonds. I think we can probably, we'll probably sell, sell these, these pretty easily. easily. Well, well done. done. Now, would you get rid of well, all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. here. About them. Well, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay, uh, okay, get on the track quick. Holy. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on! Move! Said quick! Wait, do I have to. <coughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, I can't wait until this cold's gone. Alright, so I need to yeah, start up the train and leave. Uh, maybe. Okay, what's the next bit? There's the next bit we're leaving, yeah? <coughs> so, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Jose. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Mm-hmm. 
that was one long ass intro oh, 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 oh. I got about 20 minutes before I have to uh, rush and end this uh, episode, so I'll try and see if I can get uh, if I can at least get to the camp before I have to uh, end the episode. Ah, there you go, that makes more sense, because I thought it was a bit weird, you just bash the wheel on and then it stays there. You have to use whatever that was. If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. <coughs> we really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <coughs> Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or Herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. 
He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in oh, the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always have. That's the way it is. You, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Okay, is there a time jump? Please tell me there's some kind of jump. <coughs> I'm down some sums. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. Oh, got back to uh, back to driving. Okay, am I near horse horseshoe overlook now? There you are, brother. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Thank God. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Where are you? Oh, there he is. God, he's miles away. I'm not even walking in this direction. Alright. Prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long, long way, way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? 
This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. It is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. Now remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. When we put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Shaw. Sure. It should, it should be. be. Most, Most of your stuff from Blackwater, Blackwater got saved. Everything, everything apart from my money. money. Oh, oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. All right, time to change the clothes, have a little shave. I'm gonna get all that done before the next episode. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. And a couple of weeks later. Oh, okay. So, a couple of days later, a couple of weeks later. Off the mountain. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heart. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. I think. Jose. Quite a, Quite a day. day. Let's, Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. All right, well, I'm going to call it a day here, I think. I'm going to uh, change up the outfit, um, have a little shave. Uh, all right, let me... What's going on? If I don't put on pause, then all sorts of people are going to run and walk up to me and be like, Oh, Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. Um, right, so I'm the next one, then, I'm going to do a few missions around camp and so on. Um, <coughs> right, that'll be the next episode. Hope you all. Uh, hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Hope you all had a good time and enjoyed the commentary. Apologies for uh, the way I'm, if I sound a bit weird in this recording. Um, hopefully, I'm going to record the next episode soon, like later on, probably right after this. Actually, I don't know yet. Uh, so I'll probably be sounding the same. If you could leave a like and a comment for this episode, it would uh, help a great deal. And if you wait around for the end screen you will get to suggestions for things on my channel that you might like now though i'm going to have to go and see what is causing my little sammy sam to uh whine and bark until the next time you look after yourself and you take care Dada. <laughs>